Holy guacamole! Did I remember my scissors? <laughs> You're on it, girl. Thumbnail! Hey everybody and welcome to the channel. You asked me to edit a little bit less and put the real me in and that's what you get. Hi, my name's Rhonda and the name of the channel is Hot Mess. Jim and I and ADHD, we're best friends. And um, I haven't filmed in a minute and I'm really excited to sit down and film. And I just had an amazing lunch with my husband and I just finished filming my Ipsy glam bag. <sighs> Not really looking forward to editing that or seeing the comments because people like to be nasty. And I'm like, y'all, that needs to stop. Anyways, hi, my name's Rhonda and this is, oh my gosh, I had my drink on my shirt. Cool. <laughs> Anyways, over here we embrace the hot we embrace the hot mess in this judge free, drama free, stress free zone. I forgot to mention there's a giveaway going on. Oh well. Uh, I'll leave the video down below. It goes on for a week, so this video should go up while that giveaway is still going on. I didn't show y'all all the stuff that I put in the box. It's just like and I added more to it. So definitely make sure to check my description box down below for that giveaway video. It's super, super easy. And I'm trying to do like weekly giveaways on the channel. I skipped a week, but it's okay. So anyways, if you guys are curious about the makeup I have on my face, specifically the lipsticks, let me just tell you, I got a bunch on. I've got the Gerard Cosmetics lipsticks in Underground and Buttercup on my lips then in the center i went in with the lip gloss and i almost called it bougie cream <sighs> buttercream oh, i forgot to tell y'all i lined my lips in ecstasy and then i topped the like juicy part with the lip gloss from over cosmetics that was in my lip duo truffle and then i of course forgot to bring the purple eyeshadow it's from tinseltown the purple shade from over cosmetics it just came out and then i used some of my eyeshadows from my palette which lip duo and the palette is still available guacamole holy guacamole that was a dyslexic if i've ever seen it, it came out of my mouth backwards so that is still available over on Ofra's website so if you want to pick up the lip duo the tinsel town my palette hot mess is going to save you 20 percent uh over on gerard cosmetics code hot mess will save you 30 percent over there and then of course on my rest of my face instead of foundation and concealer i use saint cream products and i am in love with them you don't need as many as i do I just love makeup and I go ham sandwich. So, any who's it's. I am also drinking liquid IV. If you are curious, probably not, but Tina, check her out. Isn't that so cute? I can't stop. I just get so excited. Okay, hi. Four minutes in. Boxy Charm unboxing. This, I'm a little nervous. I have not opened it. You guys can see. This is my paid for base box, okay? And I did pick the item this month. I hadn't picked it in the past. So there ended up being like three choices for November. This is the November box. And it was like, some people got it, some people didn't, but the Lunar Beauty palette, the Ofra Cosmetics, did I saw how my teeth? Oh well. Uh, the Ofra Cosmetics Medi palette, love that, have that on my face as well today. And then the Item Beauty palette. So this box is like, after tax, I think I'm paying darn near $32 for that. So you customize one item and then they do the rest. So we do have a card in here with the theme. It's giving giftable glam. Ooh. And the first item is the palette. Hold on. Are you kidding me? The Natasha Denona Cupid Cheek Duo is in here. I'll get to the item palette in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to show it. I'm not going to swatch it because I already have one open. So this will go in a giveaway because I think Haley has this already. This is the, yeah. I think Haley has, if Haley doesn't, then she gets it. But if not, or my mom, or whatever, it could possibly show up in a future giveaway. But is that not gorgeous? It's a cream blush. And like a cream to powder highlighter 
and it is beautiful obviously you all know how much i love cream products and yes i put my cream products like blush contour bronzer and all that on but instead of like setting my face with setting powder i just set it with like a powdered bronzer or a powdered blush kind of dealio um and then like in my t-zone i set with my one size powder that is freaking amazing like i completely sidetracked 42 mother trucking dollars for this i'm not gonna gripe about it y'all because i know that this was in a lux box all right but i told you all i keep my base box around in hopes that things will trickle down and the fact that make a drop shop gets me every time i mean between hair products makeup skincare and all things i just go there and i know some people are like you could just go to tj maxx or marshall's <laughs> not no because all the ebayers the mockery mockery is no mercury mccarriers and the dupe bops what are those called doodle not doodle bops that was a kid's show my kids watched um depop i was so close all of those go in and snatch everything up so by the time us like regular folk get in there to just like buy stuff for ourselves it's it's gone so anyways yes i get very excited to see things like this trickle on dial now this <laughs> so this was a choice product and i'm cracking up because this is literally worth more than this item beauty product the item beauty product uh does have a retail value of 24 dollars and one of you all actually told me that item beauty is owned by ipsy which that i had no clue about because i thought this was like an addison ray what is that is that who it is i don't know but they sell it in like sephora so the palette is nice it's like your standard type of cardboard packaging but it has like this really pretty like i don't know what you'd call it like almost like foil but a matte foil i don't know but it's cute she cute Ooh, you busted all right one of mine is busted just a little bit so i gotta be careful honestly y'all i griped about this palette i said that it didn't speak to me <gasps> Oh my gosh hold on let me try and press that in there you go it's like it was just floating but i said originally it didn't speak to me and now that i'm seeing it in person i was calling this a warm palette which although there are warm tones in here it's really the bottom row is speaking to me like no other isn't that bottom row gorgeous it's these two shades Hold on, let me try and it's those two shades that I don't like. The rest of the palette is so me. Let's swatch. This is actually pretty. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And it felt so nice and soft. All right, so here's the first few shades. I'm um, definitely that one's a no, but that's a, that's more my personal preference. Honestly, it's those two. I just don't like those two orangey shades. Oh my gosh. Boxy Charm didn't do like the felt stuff that I normally wipe my hands with. The pa like the formula feels really nice. I mean, granted I didn't clean my hands off, but whatever. It's okay. So some of these color shades might not be true because I kind of didn't clean my finger off properly ignore that that's not even a swatch and then we've got two more shades i love those two that is gorgeous i don't know why i said it like that okay well um although i was not excited over this palette i am definitely intrigued especially with that bottom row i mean it's it's really pretty so that is actually really good oh my gosh i got a cream bronzer by les called skyscraper i love cream products so that's great <laughs> so this is what it looks like it's in like your plastic type of container thought there would be a covering there's not a covering and i've just done shoved two fingers in there so let's see it's like a thicker one which i like because that's kind of like how the saint contours are because they give you coverage. So I actually really like that. I will definitely be using that. 
It kind of reminds me of that or um, Fenty Beauty's cream bronzer too, which I really like that bronzer. So I will definitely be trying that out. Next in here, I've got the Real Her Metallic Eyeliner Duo. Oh wait, I forgot to tell you guys a little information about this. You think this was my first time? All right, let's see here. So this is the LES Beauty Cream Bronzer. It's a lightweight creamy bronzer with a natural velvet finish that melts into the skin for an effortless, effortless sun-kissed glow. And it does have an $18 retail value. All right, I am excited. Real Her, I did not know. Did I know that they were gonna be in here? I don't think I did. Wow, okay. We've got two. Why are these heavy? These are like a heavy feeling, which is nice. Liner. They've definitely changed the formula, which I really appreciate, because they had actually sent, oh, this is gorgeous. They had actually sent me in the past some of their eyeliners and i tried to put them like on my waterline and stuff but they were just too waxy this was like more of a gel based consistency and i flip and love it so there's the swatches of these pencils and like i said they changed the formula for sure because that swatch that neither one of those swatches were hard to apply and i love the fact that they're not black i feel like we always get black liners so these shades are going to mesh perfectly what i do with it with this so that's that that has me very excited okay we'll see oh my gosh okay and then last is the tarte maracuja juicy uh, wait i did it again hold on let's get a retail value retail value real her 30 dollars. creamy buildable formula glides without tugging or pulling the eyelid i would agree because like I said, before they were super waxy, this was amazing. And then last was another Trinkle Down, and this is the Tarte Maracuja. Now, we saw this in the October? I think it was the October Premium Box with the Tarte Takeover, which I, like, I unboxed it, and I was just like, yeah, this isn't my favorite. Um, the one thing that I have used nonstop is the under eye. Have you all tried it? Did you all pick it up? Because I saw it in Drop Shop the awake by tarte you put it underneath your eyes i use it every single mother trucking day and it literally makes your under eyes look so nice and so smooth i use less powder because it helps like fill everything in and keeps my under eyes nice and fresh it's just amazing uh the other thing that i use all the time from that box is the maracuja this is in the shade rose so it's the exact same one that you would have received in your october premium and i really like this so this has a retail value of 21 dollars it's get, get the it says get the cushy pout and it is it is absolutely amazing so anywho i'm not going to open this because i honestly i have two already open on accident so this box boxy i'm proud of you <laughs> i've gotten a little like mm, over some stuff but um i'm actually pretty impressed with this box let me go ahead and tally up the total for y'all right quick. Okay, so grand total came to $135. I actually really like this box. It is extremely makeup heavy, which has me so flippin' happy. I love the fact that, like I said, the liners are not just your standard liquid black liner. It's two different shades. They perform beautifully. And yes, I know I have some of the items already, but that's only because I had received them in PR. It wasn't because it was in my base box in the past. But um, this this box, Foxy Chan, I see you. You done good. You done good. I will not complain. For a paid box, and mind you, I know one person's going to be in my comment section. Well, it's because they know you're on the PR list. No, ma'am. I have a completely other name that I put on there. So, no, it's not that. That's just a darn good box. You're not getting complaints from me this month. <laughs> Maybe next month. Anyways, friends, that is all for today's video. Don't forget I have that giveaway going on on the channel right now. I'll have that in the description box. I will have all of my makeup and everything uh, down below for y'all with coupon codes and everything. If you do want a color match, I am up to date on my color matches. They're free and um, no purchase necessary, whatever. I don't know. So anyways, friends, huge shout out and thank you to my YouTube members. You don't have to help support this channel, but 
you choose to and I appreciate you all. If you're interested in signing up, seeing how you can help out the channel, I will have a link down in the description box below and probably pinned in the comment section as well. As well as if you want to check me out on another channel and see a little bit more of this hot mess in action, uh, try and close on plus size cover girl fashion hauls matter of fact check out my other channel hot miss mama vlogs i am weekly uploading little try on hauls for you all over there i hope in the next couple weeks to be getting more things back into my Poshmark. And thank you to those of you who have purchased things out of my Poshmark closet. I definitely appreciate it. I will have a link for that below. I'm gonna have some other videos playing at the end of today's video. Maybe they're popping up right now. And if they are, click them, please. I'd greatly appreciate it. Anyways, friends, until next time, as always, kisses from Kentucky. That was so dramatic. Bye. <laughs> Time to get out of this circle, yeah, we both carry a scar As we write the part we're playing, time to cherish who we are The only thing I ever wanted starts with us taking the chance Not like anything we've done before